from Albert County Emergency Management. Joined with Commissioner Slagle again for another short edition of Commissioner Corner to take a few minutes and, and highlight some happenings around Albert County. Good morning, good afternoon, Commissioner. How you doing, Corey? Very good. Outstanding. So we're here at the missile complex, retired missile complex, uh, to do a quick brief on uh, where we're at with the compactor site. Um, anything you'd like to start us off with before we uh, transition into the facility? You bet. And if anybody's unfamiliar with you know how we got into this situation where we're at today, uh, a year ago, year and a half ago, we were approached by a private company, and they proposed to reclaim some of the old retired missile complex here uh, and mitigate that hazard that exists for the county. Uh, we were in the process of negotiating a contract when that contractor came in and, in and without authorization started disturbing some of the soil on the site, which prompted us to have to close the facility uh, just because of safety concerns. Uh, we've been working with the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment and also the contractor over the last, uh, I believe it's uh, you know nine months, to get to a point where we can actually start to mitigate some of the, the deep excavations and fill in some of those excavations so it's not a safety hazard. Uh, we've been, like I said, in negotiations with them. Uh, we got to a point where the contractor was unable to meet the insurance that was required, insurance coverages that were required to perform the, the mitigation work out here. So that forced the county's hand and we've had our road and bridge folks out here over the last couple of days filling in some of those unsafe and, and really, really deep excavations. Well, that's great. So let's go ahead and, uh, did you bring your hard hat today? You bet, I got okay. my vest too, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and transition out and we'll, uh, we'll go take a look and talk a little bit about more where we're at. Outstanding. All right, thank you. Well, Commissioner, we're back into the um, old missile silo we got in the ground, say so, yeah, safety first. So. Um, Thank you for taking a few minutes with us again today to kind of continue to update us on where we're going with this project and and for the community information. We're, we're at one of the fill sites. Can you talk a little bit about what that's all about right now? Sure. You know, like we just talked about, there were several areas where the contractor had made some unauthorized excavations around the old missile complex, missile tubes and, and the radar tube and things like that. Uh, right behind us was one of the deeper excavations. Uh, from what our public works director told us, what we had seen before, uh, there was a hole in the ground right behind us that was about 35 to 40 feet deep uh, and that has since been filled in as well as uh, most of the other excavations out here so we've, we're trying to take and we're addressing all of those safety concerns that exist at the facility well I know the public works director had said they got all the requirements back to get started on this process and they're using uh, Albert County equipment to get the uh, work done so far exactly like I said before is that the contractor wasn't able to meet the insurance requirements that were laid out and so we went ahead and, and got that started because we didn't want to wait any longer for that we want to take care of that issue okay so it's still obviously a, a big safety concern out here so crews are taking all the precautions needed to, to get this work mitigated so for uh, the community who's uh, still wanting to use landfill sites we still need to encourage them to uh, use alternate sites um, in, the, in the Aurora and outside outside county uh, facilities. Exactly. Okay, so we have a list still available for that on the uh, Albert County website under departments and uh, compactor site or public health and environment. Okay. Um, so anything else on uh, information and where they can continue to follow this project? You bet. And just so everybody knows, we're still in work here at the site. There are some outstanding issues that we're working with the Colorado Depart Department of Public Health and Environment, as well as the contractor who, was, uh, who did the unauthorized excavations. Uh, we've got some old retired landfill cells that were perforated when they were out here doing some of their digging. Uh, and so we have to work with that to make sure we can get those cells capped. So yeah, I would suggest that if for further information, you stay tuned to the Public Information Officer's Facebook page and also the county's web page uh, because we're putting out regular updates so that everybody knows exactly what's going on and, and when we uh, foresee that the project will be complete. All right, well, fantastic. Well, thank you for taking some more time and getting out in the field with us and, and really looking at uh, the county as a whole and, and giving us the, uh, the up to the minute, minute information. You bet, it's my privilege. All right, so that'll uh, close us out here from the, com uh, the old uh, a, a retired missile complex uh, in Elbert County, just off 1721 and uh, just south of Highway 86. So thank you, Commissioner. You bet. Have a great day. Have a good day.